Hello and welcome to the Science Fiction Rating System, a podcast that aims to rank every science fiction film ever made from one to infinity. My name is Sam and I am joined by Chris. Hello. And Alex. Hi. We're uh, recording at nine in the morning. Wow. And I'm, ho- it's early. I'm hungover. On a Tuesday morning. Yeah. So it's yeah. Sam drinks on well. a Monday night. It was, it was yeah. a bank Sam, holiday, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> drinks to forget. He drinks, drinks to forget. forget. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, on this most hungover podcast, we've also changed the format. So it's, yeah. it's double trouble. Um, so yeah, bear with us this week, because we're trying to switch to a weekly schedule, which means we're going to be doing a show where we reveal what films we're going to watch and talk a bit about the history of them or whatever. Then we go away and watch them, and then we come back next week and tell you where it goes in the ranking. That's right, isn't it? That's Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, so you've still got a week to watch them, so you still have... You get a little bit of a synopsis, then next week will be spoilers and arguments and rankings. But you allow a little bit of interactivity with the listener, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Although it'll be delayed interactivity because we're recording ahead of ourselves, aren't we? So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like two episodes down the line. Ah, right, get, yeah. You'll be able to get back to us. <laughs> if our listeners have... Well, they can... Have you thought this yeah. system through then? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, we'll thought you through. Okay. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this week we're going to reveal what the films are, basically, and uh, be a shorter podcast, and then, yeah, next week come back with the rankings. So, uh, let's get on with it, shall we? It's, it's prequels week, isn't yes, it? Yes, the theme was prequels. Because um, of Alien Loft Conversion, or whatever it's called. Yes, Alien <laughs> uh, Covenant. Co- Covenant. Covenant. Or oven can't, as you say, or you do say in that picture. Did you? Uh, has anyone else read the plot spoiler for that film? No, no, it's some nonsense. I just, I can't believe that. I know you haven't. I couldn't find yeah, a, a yeah, version of that. This is why films are sport for you because you keep watching this <laughs> shit. That quad poster is just awful. With her just looking, it's just such an awful picture of her looking scared. It just makes the film look terrible. The film just looks terrible. I'm sorry. It, um, have you seen the Alien game they put out? It was called. Yeah, um, the isolation one. or something like that. Yeah, no, no, yeah. the one wasn't the marine one. It was like I think it was called isolation, and the cover the oh. cover of that was a lot like the cover of this poster for the film. So ripped it that off. is very weird. That's a good game. That was. It was. Oh, okay. I remember seeing the making of where they did all the sounds and stuff. Yeah, for it. walking around. I don't know. I'm not looking. Uh, it, having having done a bit of re- background reading on Prometheus, it makes me worry more about this. To be honest, yeah. Um, I won't spoil anything other than say that they sort of get to the origin of um, the xenomorph, and oh, it's, okay. it's not good. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can find out the rest for yourselves. Oh, we know the God. origin okay. of the xenomorph, don't we? Not the actual like f- proper form of it. They're right. different, aren't they? In, uh, Prometheus. Oh dear. Um, uh, but yeah, that's for yeah. another week. Um, yeah. Yeah, so prequels. So we've got three prequels to uh, review. And the first prequel really is the, the prequel to end all prequels. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the first. <it's>, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. So Ooh. let me... Um, oh, wait, some that, phone someone's phone's going off. You guys? Yeah. Not me. No. Anyway, never mind. Uh, right, yes. Cast your mind back to 1998. Um, the original Star Wars films were released the year before to much fanfare. Everyone enjoyed them. Great times, even though they had that weird jabber in them. Yeah. Um, oh, that phone's back. It's gone. Um, yeah, and then the uh, Lucas starts on his prequel trilogy and... Uh, probably one of the most anticipated films of all time, and it's fair to say, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It was definitely. M- massively, massively hyped. Um, yep. I was 14, I think, or 13, 14, something like that, so right in the right age for it. Um, yeah, and I remember seeing the trailer. I can't remember what it was in front of. Can you remember, Chris, what the trailer was in front of at the cinema? I don't remember. No, mm. nor me. I just remember seeing it. It th- must have been something big, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. Was it a Jurassic? Was it like Jurassic? Could Part have been Jurassic World or, something, or Jurassic Park. Or Jurassic. Three yeah, mm, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, it was a Armageddon. iconic, iconic trailer. 
So <laughs> Armageddon, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, so as part of this new like preview show, we're going to watch the trailer. So we're going to go and watch it now. And I, I'll put them in the show notes, the trailers as well. So if you're listening at home, just click that little link. Click the blue words and you can watch as well. So let's all go and watch the trailer and come back and see what we think, okay? Cool. It. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we'll come back now. Um, I'm sure it's, I'll it's, take it's, it. <laughs> <laughs> the first 30, 45 seconds of that still made me like a bit shivery, a yeah. bit shaky, brilliant. Now, see, it, it remember, I thought there was almost more of a teaser teaser one than that where you saw less because that seemed to show quite a lot. There might have, I but, think there was uh, yeah. just, the, just the breathing on it, I think. Yeah, I think that's the first yeah. like, proper but you're, you're, you're completely right. The beginning of that, you just go fuck yeah I'm in this is going to be amazing and then it starts to unravel yeah. even now I know it's so you can't do it without not knowing what you know yeah. but even when you start when they just yeah it starts to unravel a, quite in that trailer quite you could bat in the middle doesn't it well really? I think the first shot after the pod racing there was uh, Jar Jar Binks getting his tongue caught in yeah. the, the fucking electric thing which sort of <laughs> yeah <laughs> sums up yeah. a lot of problems in that yeah film. but we didn't know who he was yeah no, he could no. have just been a little a stupid creature. Yeah, yeah, like pass, yeah, it's passing true. through. It's true. It's funny. It looked ex- it looked exciting though. That made it look really exciting. Yeah, which in you know like if you if when I think of my memory of the film, I remember it being a bit boring. See, I remember the a trailer where the opens with that one of them landing ships. Yeah, like going into the atmosphere, mm. which is quite cool. Yeah. And I swear the reveal, the double lightsaber reveal, is a lot. I've seen one where that um, looks amazing. Yeah, you don't yeah, know he's going to yeah. do it. I swear there's a pre. I swear in this, I've Yoda's made it all ridiculous up. Know, in this though. He's yeah. like a muppet. <laughs> well, he is yeah. a muppet. It's funny that it's funny that George Lucas let that be in the trailer. You'd think he would have. Um, when you watch the old stuff from the Empire it. Strikes Back, how they're trying not to make him a muppet. Yeah, and mm. they did. It's strange. Yeah. And then you get the stupid CG version don't you, after that, which is even more ridiculous. He's leaping around everywhere. Yeah. But, but, and yeah. also, his just face is just too expressive. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, so... I hope so. Positives, in, I hope though. So I mean, so I, there are positives to this, I think, because I can remember how excited I was. And Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I remember yeah. going after school with my mum to watch it because mm. um, I couldn't wait for the weekend <laughs> to go and see it. <laughs> I think it was to come out on a Thursday, I think, or a Thursday or Friday, something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I remember being very excited. And I think at the time, I, I did quite enjoy it as well. You bought a lot um, of merch, I remember. You were buying uh, the, uh, the Lego and all sorts. I don't think I did. Yes, you did. Yeah, I, remember, I remember distinctly. And then you were also buying... <laughs> you were also buying the... I think when it came out on VHS, I think you bought the widescreen version or something. Or, oh, I bought the VHS. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I bought. I used to buy the models. Yeah, you know, build build the models, but um, that was a lot of uh, with Lego, though, wasn't it? When back then, and it was like, I think yeah, is, they did. That was one of the, yeah, their early yeah massive shit. early <laughs> yeah. branding ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, so how recently have either of you seen this film? I think Chris? I must have seen this around Christmas because I was with my oh. my my young cousins in Australia. Oh, right. I think I think we saw this. They have it. They've got that channel on Sky where it just loops all. Oh, just play all Star Wars. All films. six of them. Yeah. I I haven't seen it for a long time, but I saw it at the cinema. The second time I watched it was on DVD, but I actually watched it with the commentary. Right. Uh, it's one of the few films I've watched just pure commentary on. Yeah. And although I didn't love the commentary, I remember thinking at the time that visually hmm. it was a very good film. And in fact, what maybe you know, my rememberings of it, a lot of what I didn't like was the talking, and that when I could just look at it, I actually thought, you know what, visually this is, this is pretty good. Yeah. So from having this kind of like you know, yeah, like you say, the massive anticipation, and then being like, oh, yeah, that was good, and then kind of feeling a bit like, nah, actually it wasn't as good as I think it was. Then, like I say, when I watched it, yeah, on, with the commentary on, 
visually I thought, no, actually, there's, there's, there is some good stuff in this. Like, and the pod race, I still, in my mind, the pod race is still really, really well done. And I do remember thinking that was really good sequence. Yeah. There was just a lot in it that annoyed me. Yeah, yeah. See, I watched them, the prequels, around the time that Force Awakens got announced. I watched them all again. And Ooh. I, if that viewing, because I always used to think Phantom Menace is clearly the worst, but I think Episode 2 is the worst now. Yeah. Definitely. Um, oh, okay, so, interesting. Yeah, I'm, there are I'm, some good scenes in episode two, like visually interesting, like the when he fights Boba Fett mm, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the rain. It's That's just it's very convoluted, isn't it? The plot is so convoluted. It just becomes a massive like um, CG session at the end, and I just don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's got a lot yeah, of problems. But with, with Phantom, though, I watched a documentary, and it's amazing how... Um, how revolutionary their techniques were in that film. They like, I don't think we'd have digital cameras on our phones now if it wasn't for Phantom Menace. Hmm. They literally invented the the HD camera for that. Yeah, it was only shot in HD, oh, which okay. is amazing. Like they haven't yeah. got like a 4K hmm. version of it or a film version. It's just got a 1080p version. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many things that they invented on that film. It. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, he waited. He waited to do it. It like like Avatar, didn't he? He waited, well, he waited to do until it, it was barely until the possible. Technology, like yeah, that's how that's yeah. how. When they I mean, do he it, says that, it? but didn't he really? He did it because of the. No, watch the uh, documentary. It's like the best. It's the best uh, making of of all the films. Yeah, even no, though I it's probably the worst film. I don't doubt what he says, but don't you think it's actually because they released the originals and they they like Star Wars became massive again. I did read that. Well, there was a, the Dark Horse comics line and a trilogy of novels, and I think he saw that it was still in the public, like the conscious people did care about oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and that's why he came back. So yeah, there was a money, there was a driven money. Definitely... But I do agree with Chris that he, it was a technological thing. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah. he wants free reign over everything, doesn't yeah. he? He wanted to be able to just do what he wanted, but, and the the computer the CGI I still allowed think him to do This that. film's got the best villain out of all of them. It's got the best sword fight out of all of them, and it's got the best piece of music, the the piece over the, the fate. sword. Yeah, out of all yeah. of them. So I, I mean, they're yeah. all really pretty good benefits. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's see what we think next week. Hmm. Yeah. And we've watched it again. Um, yeah, quite looking forward to seeing it, which is weird. I never thought I'd say I'm <laughs> looking forward to seeing Phantom Menace, but there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I really yeah. am on going around I'm confused but <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I might be able to turn you all around to get this pretty high up on the board alright okay Ooh, well that would be a shocker <laughs> wouldn't it wow I'm looking forward to that okay let's have a quick break and back to the second film Uh, and we're back, and we've already forgotten a bit. Uh, well, I've forgotten a bit, um, <laughs> as I've just been Play reminded by my my colleagues. Uh, we're meant to be doing a synopsis of the film because, um, having talked to a few people, listen to the podcast. If you don't necessarily know the film, you might hear what it's about and want to go away and watch it. Obviously, in the case of Star Wars, you probably know what it's about. But um, for more obscure stuff, you know, it'll, it might just give you a bit of time to watch it yourselves. So yeah, uh, episode one, Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. The synopsis is basically that there's a really boring tax situation going on. Um, <laughs> it's tax and, season. Wait, let's sell it. It's yeah, tax season. It's, HMRC it's tax season. are on all their asses. <laughs> yeah. And because it's Star Wars, uh, they enforce it with lightsabers and Jedi. They're saying, why haven't you paid your taxes? And, yeah, there's a, the planet of Naboo. Um, and there's some sort of phantom menace who has maybe got more than taxes on his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sinister, and really, and he's that's got all at you least two reasons why he wants to sh- chop Jedi's in half. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So then they meet Jar Jar Binks, and they go to Tatooine, and the future spoilers: Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker, um, is annoying. At least in my memory <laughs> of things, and he races the pod. And somebody says, "That's Wizard Annie." And this like strange child with very long arms leaps around a bit. Do you remember that after the pod race? That's a, that's my yeah, own memory like of, of Star Wars. Yeah, 
Is is that Warwick? Um, Probably, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, no. I think he's no. I think he's in that shot, but he's there with. He's the Greedo character. No, I, I, isn't he there just with his head out? You can see no. his face. Oh, he's he pops up at different times in the film. He is. Oh, he, is he? You can see his face in the pod race scene. Yeah. He's like one of Jabba's goons. Oh yes, yes, yes. I think. Yeah. I think yeah, he's definitely there somewhere. We will have to find out when we report back. Mm. So yeah, basically that's what it is: taxes, Jedi's. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's go <laughs> on to the next film, um, which is uh, oh well, no, this is Chris. So Chris, what's the next film? It's uh, yeah, this is 2012's Ridley Scott's Prometheus. Hugely anticipated. I I think I because I was yeah I think. Star Wars happened when I was at the right age to anticipate that, that and this yeah. happened when I was at the right age to anticipate this, probably. Yeah. Um, so, this is a, a prequel to the Alien franchise that we knew before. Mm-hmm. Um, Ridley Scott got back involved after it went in various directions in the 80s and 90s, all of which I think he discounts as being non-canon now. Yeah. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> Yeah, he's got a very uh, interesting way of talking, just Ridley. Yeah, um, talking of good good making ofs, anything Ridley Scott in it is what's yeah. isn't it? <laughs> DVDs, he'll just light a cigar and just yeah. start continuing start swearing to do everything. it. Yeah. <laughs> he'll go like, oh yeah, if you want to get fucked up in the morning on film set, keep, no, keep an eye on hair. He goes, because hair can fuck you up like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he also went. He's very. He's not very modest. He'll no, go like, not at all. He'll yeah. go like. <laughs> he goes. I know a good art director when I see one, and like, or just go. Oh yeah, I remember on a glad on a gladiator or something. He goes. He had like some experts down from Time Team or some archaeological experts on yeah. Romans, and it was the battle sequence, and that he told them all to light their arrows with fire, and yeah. then the expert went. I don't think the Romans actually did that to uh, Mr. Scott. And he went, they do now. <laughs> Brilliant. There's loads of anecdotes to do with Ridley. He's, got, he's a great character. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, so this is set way before Alien. Kind of a completely disconnected story where it, there some guys are exploring a planet and it, they find out that it's it's these... This second alien race, which originally designed the alien as a weapon system, and uh, basically, this is this planet is one of their uh, installations there, where they yeah. keep the alien stuff. Yeah. But it's 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 a called an LV number, but it's not actually the same one as in Alien. The 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 planet is it? It's no. LV something. No. Uh, which I always thought was kind of probably a missed trick. I think. I think why, but I don't know. I mean, it would be uh, interesting. You, it will be explained in the next film. Yeah, if the anyway, spoilers I read were yes. right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, so this the the story is quite convoluted. They miss a lot of tricks. Uh, but I yeah, that's all I'm going to say at this juncture. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good synopsis. Should we watch the trailer? Yeah. So let's uh, let's take a little break and watch the teaser trailer for Prometheus. <laughs> Between that trailer and Phantom Menace is obviously that is post Inception, so it's got the <laughs> the Wah. Inception noise that's on every trailer yeah. nowadays. But no, good, no, good see, trailer. That is a great trailer. That's a brilliant trailer. Yes. That was, see, that so is exactly good, what though. you want. You can tell how good the, yeah. the, the sets look and the ships look yeah. and the planet looks. Yeah, it's so they good. didn't do too much plot. It just made yeah. you. Yeah, it was all the visuals, wasn't yeah. it? No, that is a really good trailer. Yeah. Uh, but I have to say, personally, I wasn't looking forward to this because of the kind of Phantom Menace uh, problem. You're just a hater. And I think kind of... Well, I just think with the Phantom Menace, because <laughs> uh, we're going on, like, first, you know... Re- no, you know, I'm, 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 I'm positive them. going in. You're not. That's a yeah. problem. <laughs> no, I just... After what happened with Phantom Menace, I think it tainted any kind of prequel to, for me. So I was not looking forward to this, I have to say. 
Uh, and yeah, I don't remember liking it very much when I first saw well, it. I have to say, I wasn't looking forward to it until I saw that trailer, and then I was really hyped for it. And we went uh, like the day it came out because it was that trailer. It's good because there's no talking in it. I think mm. you you just your imagination can run wild, can't it? And it there's just some di- like yeah, some diabolical film. lines in that film. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I didn't enjoy the film either, mm. and I've not seen it since um, I saw it at the cinema. So no. I'll be interested. I mean, that's, when was it? Twenty twelve? You say so? That's, that's Good five years ago, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd be interested to it's watch. A good it again. time to revisit. I've it, watched definitely. it a few times since. Yeah. Uh, I've... Have you always liked it when you watched it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, that trailer's a lot of going through. Nice sound, nice look to it. I mean, the soundtracks. I've got the soundtrack actually. The soundtrack's really good. Well, isn't the music's it? great. The main theme. Yeah. Um, which I, yeah, I know that weird thing where you know the music better than the film when you go to watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. a weird thing that is. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, looking forward to seeing it again, definitely. Um, yeah, it's a top cast. It's a very good cast. Mm. Yeah, I don't like Fassbender. Okay. Really, I like Fassbender. He makes some bum choices for films. He's made some terrible films. I think I think he's the kind of actor where people forget the terrible things he's done, like Assassin's Creed uh, and um, he's crap in X-Men. Oh, what's it called? That terrible one with the. Um, Josh Brolin. I think he as might a be a model first and an actor second. I'm just putting that out there. What's that cowboy one? <laughs> it's it's um oh god I can't remember the name. It's from like a it is a comic. It's one of the Cowboys worst and films. No, it wasn't. No. Either. Oh god, what's it called? <laughs> oh, he's got like a kind of Josh Brolin's got a kind of a scarred face. Um, uh, it's from like a Dark Horse comic or uh, an Image comic. I don't know. We'll, um, we'll look it up off anyway. there. It's not good podcasting. Yeah, terrible. It's a terrible. It. It's a terrible film. Um, yeah, I don't think he's good Magneto in the X Men films either. He just does the same look mm. all the time. The same sort of like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of a bit conflicted about am I angry or evil or whatever. It's pretty good for the ten minutes he's mm. in Inglorious. I don't remember. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, he's, no he's very overhyped. <laughs> no, no, he's very overhyped as an actor, definitely. Yeah. Well, we'll see what he can do. I mean, um, Shalice yeah. Theron was just there to look good in a spacesuit. She didn't have anything to do. That was annoying. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Let the dog out. The dog up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a Prometheus yeah, fan. It's not my fan. dog. I can't control it. I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's all right. He wants to get involved. Um, yeah. Is there a dog? A dog doesn't die in. No, that's Alien Three, isn't it? The dog dies. Yeah. yeah. Your beloved Alien. Good film. It. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's Prometheus. <laughs> Anything more to say? I mean, great not trailer. Really. Yeah, brilliant trailer. That's all we know it's, so um, far. Yeah. What is that? I wait till the dog stops. Dog <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was uh, like some like throat singing or something. Keep going this on. in. No, it's it's just a dog. Um, it's interesting to have Prometheus and Phantom Menace because they're obviously both huge films. Direct, you know, the the the, the person has come back. And the original to, the seventies director directors come back. Come back, to. back. Yeah. And yeah, instead of being surrounded by no men, he's now surrounded by yes men. <laughs> yeah, and, all, and the te- yes, no, all the technology in the world. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I think I'm looking forward to discussing that further. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one more thing to say. Didn't the end of this film change at the last minute? Wasn't it? Oh, well, surprise! It's terrible. I think it was meant to be a standalone thing, and then, or they, or they put the bit on the start. Maybe I'm sure. I'll look into it for next time. I'm sure something changed last minute because they thought, oh, "Hang on, we can get a franchise out of this again. We can make more of these." They changed. I do know they changed the the way it the fight sequence at the end. I, I know that. I'm right, going okay. to detail. Uh, so we'll, that. The, yeah. we'll get to it yeah. next week. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's the second film, Prometheus. Mm. Go away and watch it. Uh, quick break, and we'll have our third and final film. And we are back with our third and final film. Alex, what's our third prequel? Well, the third prequel is Rise of the Planet of the Apes, the 2011 uh, movie directed by Robert uh, Rupert Wyatt. Sorry, um, and this one's obviously it's a bit different. When you had Prometheus, we've had Phantom Menace. This is it is a prequel, but it's also kind of a reboot yeah. as well. Um, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's a reboot of the Planet of the Apes film series that ran for five films from 68 to 73. And was remade 
Awfully in 2001 by Tim Burton. Yes. Uh, and all of these are based on the 1963 novel by Pierre Boulle. Uh, and it serves as an origin story to what then became a trilogy. I don't know if they planned the trilogy at the time mm-hmm. or um, anyway. Of course they did. Uh, but th- they did, I think. Yeah. I'm sure they did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, it follows James Franco's Dr. Will Rodman, who's trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease for his father, who's played by John Lithgow. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> in I like John. Thank Lithgow. you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the dog, the <laughs> That's a I don't know what that was. Uh, His initial testing on a viral-based drug named ALZ112 on a chip named Bright Eyes goes terribly wrong, resulting in her termination as well as the projects. Uh, Luckily for Will, Bright Eyes gives birth uh, to an infant he named Caesar just before she goes crazy. Uh, And Will decides to carry on his research and raise Caesar, uh, who has inherited his mother's intelligence. And more, but little does he know where his radical and dangerous experiment will take him, or the chimp. Although obviously it's called Rise of the Planet of the Apes, so you can kind of guess <laughs> where where it's going to take yeah. it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I remember not really thinking. I mean, I hated the Tim Burton remake so much. Yeah. Uh, and I remember not really thinking much about this, but I saw it um, not at the cinema, but after it came out, and I thought it was a really good film. So yeah, I have positive thoughts about yeah. this. I feel. Positive about look re- watching it again. It was the one I was most kind of you know like happy about watching. Yeah, again. no, same for me. I, I didn't see it at the cinema because I just thought that's going to be terrible. I remember seeing a um, a CG bit of some apes on on the, the San Francisco bridge, uh, yeah. and thinking yeah. oh whatever. And then I saw it on a plane and thought oh, no, actually this is a really good film. So um, hmm. let's watch the trailer, shall we? Before we sure. I designed the one twelve for repair, but Caesar's gone way beyond that. You mean increased intelligence? The skills that far exceed that of a human counterpart. This is wrong, Will. It works. And what about Caesar? Where does he fit in? That ship's company property. He hasn't spent any time with other chimps. I think we should keep a count of how many, like, post-2009 trailers haven't got Inception noise on them. Yeah. yeah. I bet there's not any other. What, I don't? I don't know. They don't it's have it. Don't. Yeah. yeah. Rogue One did. Yeah. He had the Death Star siren. Yeah. Um, Chris, what, what did you well, see? I haven't seen right? any of the original ones from the 70s. Oh, right. right. Whenever they were made. Because yeah. they looked stupid. They looked like men in suits. And I thought Who? they were like B movies. I didn't did you watch realize. the TV series? No, never seen, seen anything to do you, with. Oh, right. Oh, that's I funny. saw the Tim Burton one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um,. <laughs> So that was like, I, I imagine I thought it was a stupid thing, like yeah. a panto thing. And then yeah. I saw the Tim Burton one and they tried to do it like a dark, serious Shakespearean thing, which was just silly. Uh, and yeah, uh, seen, I don't even know before. what was that. I don't know. That's not canon or anything, is it? That Tim Burton one, right? Oh, no, no, no. This, no, this, not because it wasn't even the yeah. planet or what it was weird. <laughs> it's like they took all the ideas, but. That was the closest he he had to call it Planet of the Apes, but it was it wasn't the same planet. It was like a different vortex time dimension thing, right? Yeah, wasn't that the yeah, twist at the end? It was bollocks. I can't remember. Yeah, but that's what it. That was what was really weird about it at the end when he lands and it's the human planet. Yeah, with the Lincoln Memorial, but they're dressed as apes. That oh, was like yes, a gag yeah, reel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It what doesn't that wouldn't even make sense. <laughs> No, it's so the bad. same battles and people in history have happened, but they looked like apes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's, anyway. we have to we have to review that at some point. <laughs> yeah. So that was just like someone thought of that last minute, and like as a gag, the VFX guy made that bit, and yeah. it went somehow f- found its way in. Yeah. Anyway, we're not talking uh, about that film. We're no. About- but, so you've yeah. seen this one before. I've seen this one before. I really like it. I like John Lithgow. I like the... There's some really good stuff with sound design on this. It's good how they make something ridiculous, not ridiculous. They really do join all the dots of how this could be sold as a proper movie idea. Yeah, Um, definitely. Yeah. the the you know the motion capture is good in this. It's even better in the second. You can really see the technological jumps between them. Like there wasn't a real chimp used in this film, but you can kind of see some dodgy bits. But in the next one, it's even better. So that uh, the ne- next one though, I didn't like at all. In the second one, 
I don't think I've seen any of That others. Bonobo's really scary in this as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, that trailer's terrible, though. I, I can see why I didn't go and see it. Yeah, the AMC 113 again. thing. Spoil everything. Yeah. So, the what, AMC sorry. 113, is that not la- that joke which is in every film? That A113 thing. Um, it's like a it's a VFX joke which is in every film. Because that was the number on the, on the uh, VFX it was, room. It's ALZ, yes, yeah. ALZ yeah, yeah, Pixar 112. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's a car registration plate, isn't it? Something? Yeah. It's in every Pixar movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, it's a terrible trailer. Like, that's. Th- th- those are the worst trailers where they do, like, just show you the whole plot, aren't they? But it's always. And it re edited it as well because it made it look. Oh, we're not talking about it, but it, it made the film look. It, it actually made the plot of the film look completely different yeah. to what it was, it's, but, you, it's, but still spoiled it all. It's when they've got no faith in a film, isn't it? They're not sure how that's no. going to do. So they. Like, Prometheus and Star Wars, obviously, you can do what you like because people are going to go, but with Planet of the Apes. Probably because Tim Burton was so bad, they've got to go. Look, all this is in it. Mm. All this that's is going to happen. Yeah, that's what it is. They've they yeah. showed that the style. It showed they've showed that it's not apes walking around with swords. Yeah. Mm. They've yeah. you know there is a backstory, an interesting sort of proper sci-fi backstory. Now this is more like the, yeah. the fly or something, isn't it? And it's yeah. like a proper um, yeah how, how things happened. So that's good. That's I think we've got three films there that. Like I'm weirdly looking forward to watching all of them, to be honest. Even though I don't particularly yeah. like two of them, um, it's an interesting week, I think. I tell you, I'm going to get I'm going to get Phantom up there on the list. <laughs> 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 I'm looking forward to that. Oh dear. Um, okay, so I think that's all for this week. Um, so go away, do your I homework. I went to see John Christmas. Williams' music at the LSO play, and that's oh, yeah. what reminded me of how good Phantom and Manus music was. Like, yeah. it's just did, incredible. Did, did you all the fates? Yeah. Continue. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> any other cultural highlights of the week? No, no. You see any not, films? So you're not you doing see... the quiz tonight, tomorrow then? No, no, I can't, can't make it. I'm afraid. No. Oh, okay. But um, I'll have it's to... tonight. It's today, isn't it? Yes, it's tonight. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I better no, get to I'm London. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no one's seen Guardians of the Galaxy two yet. I'm in the wrong city. No, not yet. No, nor me. I might. I, I might probably go won't tonight. go to see it. You know. Oh, I just not really? into comic. Every time I go into a comic book film, I come out like I've been severely, like under underwhelmed, s- oversold something, something underwhelmed. Yeah. Well, on that downer note, we'll leave it here <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll reconvene in a week. See you all next week yeah. when we won't be hungover. No, well, Sam won't yeah. be hungover. Well, maybe not. I can't guarantee anything. But yeah, uh, <laughs> see you in a week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.